Hey folks, it's Jeremy Osterberger. We're here at the Downstream USA Conference. I'm joined by Rick Mobley. Rick is sales manager for the US4 International Cooling Tower. So uh, Rick, how are we doing? Pretty good. The show's filling up, uh, hanging out with you, so. All right, things are good. Good morning, yeah, yeah, good morning. morning. So uh, Rick, let's get right into it. Um, uh, for folks that maybe aren't familiar with International Cooling Tower, just real quick, uh, give us an overview of your services. So. Right, uh, engineering, procurement, construction, there's no job too small, no job too big that we can do. Uh, we've done some world, some first uh, kind of world-class mod builds, and uh, yeah, we'll be happy to help out any capacity with cooler towers. So, so Rick, let's get into uh, some news. What's been going on lately? You know, cover maybe uh, maybe uh, late last year into now. Where, where, sure, where sure. what's ICT up to? So last year was a great year for us. We had 740,000 man hours with no record of us, no lost time uh, from injuries. Uh, there were three collapsed towers that we were able to help rebuild last year as well. At least three that I've known about. I think we were able to win those projects and deliver, you know, deliver on time to the customers too. So, so, so we're, let's get into uh, projects. What is on the horizon that stands out to you? For me personally, we we are about to start our third new tower build for Exxon and Beaumont. Okay. So we've done the, the Blade project a couple years ago, just finished the lead last year, and now we're stepping into the bonus project. So uh, wow. it's, it's been three in a row, and we have a, a great team working on it, and I feel like we're we're doing all the right things. And so Rick, that's in Beaumont, but I'm going to ask you geographically, mm -hmm. man, how far does ICT reach? You know? Oh, uh, I mean, from, from Brownsville, Texas, to uh, Edmonton, Canada. I mean, from across the U.S. and across all of Canada, there is no state that we... Uh, but it will not perform services on. Fantastic. Uh, Rick, hurricane season is coming. I don't know if you're yes. aware of that. That's, oh, yeah, uh, that's on the way. So, so uh, look, um, cooling towers are a major issue. We talk mm -hmm. about uh, inclement weather and storms. I, right. I want to talk a bit about prep, right? Yes, you right. know, what, what do sites need to do and how do y'all maybe play a role in that? And then, of course, if an event happens, talk about your, your response and mobilization. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the biggest thing to do, uh, obviously, tie down the fans. Yep. Uh, we don't want those things spinning, in the, spinning freely in the wind. So either an anti-rotation device and a, a fan lock system or fan brake system or uh, any other kind of implementation on the motor you can have to stop the rotation it goes a long way. Uh, other than that, there's really not much you can do. It's kind of sit back and, and hope it doesn't yep. hit as bad as it, as it will or as right. predicted. But where, where we step in is, is we have the largest combined inventory of any cooling tower company in the U.S. Uh, we have a lay down yard in the port, and we have our, we also have our own fabrication shop in Chandler, Arizona. So, with with us with the ample amount of parts that we have in stock, being fan shrouds, uh, casing, FRP, you know, response time, given all the crews that we have out in the field as well, uh, is is unbeatable, unmatched. So, if something does happen, you know, God forbid, uh, we'd be able to step in quickly with the parts and the people to get their coolant towers back into service. Fantastic, and of course, essential to operations, you gotta have a coolant tower, so. Yes. Okay, uh, Rick, so for, uh, let's just do this. For, for folks that mm -hmm. uh, maybe need to wanna learn more about ICT, you know, where, where should they go? Send them to the website. Yeah, www.ictower.com. Uh, you can also look up our kind of general phone line, probably linked on the Google or whatever kind of search engines there are, so. Cool. Uh, yeah. Give us a call, shoot us an inquiry over uh, the website, we'll be happy to help you guys out. And you can follow ICT on Vic Magazine as well. Absolutely. So, thank Absolutely. you, uh, Rick, for being great, and I appreciate your time here yeah. at the Downstream USA Conference. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks, man.